and it's time to draw some more race cars. I'm Boris, and we're about to have some fun drawing today. As we're all staying safe inside, staying healthy, well, we're going to make the most of it today. We're going to draw some race cars. I have a, a very special show today. Our friends at Homestead Miami Speedway are joining us in just about a minute. So let's give them a chance to come in here, get your pen and paper ready, your crowns, your color pencils, your markers, whatever you're going to draw with. Get ready to roll because we're going to draw a really cool picture today and tell a really cool racing story. All right. I think our friends from Homestead Miami Speedway are now joining us. We're live on their Facebook and Twitter pages this morning, ready to draw something. And as you can tell, I'm kind of dressed the part for the Homestead Miami Speedway crowd. And let me tell you why. I grew up in Miami. Can you believe that? I went to the very first race at Homestead Miami Speedway, I mean, at least 25 years ago, I would say, at least. I've been to so many races there. I grew up racing cars at Hialeah Speedway. Anybody watching on the Homestead Miami Speedway page from, from the, uh, the airport area or, or Hialeah or Miami Springs, that's where I grew up. And so this is a very special day for me to be able to draw on your page. One of my favorite racetracks, if not my favorite personal racetrack, there at Homestead Miami Speedway. So thank you for joining me. I got my Guayabera on, I got my Miami Marlins hat, ready to draw some Miami themed stuff. And let me tell you what we're going to draw today. We're going to draw the Ally Beach, which is the beach inside the Speedway. Do you know any other tracks that have a, a beach with palm trees and everything inside the Speedway that you can watch the race cars zooming around? Well, Homestead Miami does. That's what we're going to draw today, and we're going to draw Kyle Busch's championship winning car racing to the checkered flag in the background down the back stretch. So I'm super excited today, but first I'm excited to show you some show and tell. Some of the pictures you sent in this week that you drew. So let me start with that. Ian sent in this great picture of Denny Hamlin's race car. That's a classic race car, isn't it? That's one that uh, he raced to his very first point series win at Pocono. So good job, Ian. I appreciate you doing that. Ian's in Raleigh. There's Caroline showing off number 14 car, doing some burnouts with some smoke there. Good job, Caroline. Excellent job. Like how the, the colors that she put on the hood, she put her name on the hood too. She's the sponsor of that car. Nothing wrong with that. Look at the helmet in there too. And the checkered flag coming out the window. Awesome job, Caroline. There's another one from Ian. That's our historic Dale Jarrett car that we won our first race with at Joe Gibbs Racing. There's Devin's uh, car doing a burnout. Good job. There's Ethan. Race car in the garage stall with the engine right there. Really some awesome drawings come out of all of y'all. Thank you, Ethan. This is Werner's from the other day when we, we did Sonoma. Look at the look at the speedway. Look at that car coming around the curves. Pretty awesome. Even has a uh, either a hauler back there. Wow. Some really great drawings. So today, let's get started. Let's get a clean piece of paper. I'm using an iPad. You don't have to use an iPad. You could use a paper, cardboard, chalk, driveway, whatever you need to do to to, uh, to draw today, as long as your parents are alright with what you're drawing on, of course. Let me start with a clean piece of paper and let's get started drawing Homestead Miami Speedway. What do you say? First, to get warmed up, gotta make sure my Apple Pen's working. Oh yeah, it's charged. It's good. We're gonna draw the track shape, just very simply, just so you can understand what we're doing here. So, Homestead Miami Speedway, let's start with a front straightaway. Or any straightaway it could be. It's actually a symmetrical track. You remember what symmetrical means? means if you cut it in half, it'd be exactly the same, mirrored over on each side. And that's how Homestead is. So I'm going to draw a plus sign, like that. Those are the two straightaways. And then we're going to connect them with the letter C on either end. This is just a way to get warmed up. We're going to draw a race car real soon. And some other cool things on Ally Beach. Because when I think about Miami, I definitely think about the beach. And the Cuban food. That's my favorite thing. That's what I miss the most. Anyway. Let's draw the turns. Connect them with the letter C, like this. And then a backwards letter C, of course, on the other side. But that's basically a Homestead Miami Speedway looks. Now, I made it a little too skinny. It might be a little higher up, so I might even fix that, like this. Make it a little wider. And now we have a pit road, which is perfect. My lines aren't the straightest, but that's okay. If you're if you're just tuning into this show for the first time, you will learn that uh, 
we are really all about fixing some mistakes here because you know in our world today we're making things right having to fix some things nothing wrong with that so I'm fixing some mistakes we can fix it on a drawing it's not going to be a big deal so what I did was I drew the access roads to pit road right here is pit road then the front stretch over here and the back stretch now thankfully the good engineers that built Homestead Miami Speedway are much better at drawing clean straight lines than I am. But here's where we're going to draw today. I'm going to use some blue. There's a lake right back here. That's not blue, is it? Let me, let me fix that. There's a lake back over here in the middle of the track. And right over here where I'm drawing an orange, there's a beach. Ally Beach. And you can actually watch the tra the race from the beach. Can you believe that? I, I haven't gotten to do that yet, but one day I'm going to do that. And so we are going to draw a picture looking back at the back straightaway. Pretend we were standing on the beach and we're looking back this way. See that? We're going to look at the back stretch. We're going to watch Kyle Busch's car fly by. All right. That's going to require some palm trees and some sand, a lot of cool things. So get ready. We're warmed up. We drew the track shape. What do you say we draw some race cars and some beach here? All right. Got my pen out here. Now we're going to draw the scene before we draw the car. Okay? It's going to be a little easier. Warm you up. We're going we're gonna to draw our Ally Beach scene right here. So I want you to draw some rolling sand dunes, kind of like this. Just the really comforting smooth beach right here oh yeah that's gonna turn into our sandy beach very nice just draw a nice smooth ground like that just some slight rolls in it very nice all right next we need to do a palm tree don't you think don't you think we need to do a palm tree so I want you to do an arched line kinda of like this and then do another line right next to it, kind of like that. See that? Very nice. Zoom out a little bit so you can see what's going on there. Very nice. Now a palm tree, there's a lot of different kinds, but the ones we're going to draw today, they have leaves that look like this. You draw a straight line, and then you do some jagged edges on them like that. Now, I did mine out here in space. I'm just showing you how to do it. We're going to put it next to the tree, of course. So let me erase that, but I just wanted you to be able to see what I was going to do before we get started. So start at the trunk here and draw a line down like this and just draw some jagged lines. Kind of like a bunch of shark fins connected together. And just keep drawing a bunch of those. See that? See what I'm doing? Looking beautiful. Beautiful beach scene. Can you believe you can watch a race from a beach? Well, I grew up down in Miami. Like I said, I went to the first race there. I watched Dale Earnhardt Jr. win a Xfinity championship there. I watched Joe Gibbs Racing win a championship with uh, Bobby Labonte and Tony Stewart won the first race. Can you believe that? And now I work for them. My name's Boris, if you're just joining us and this is the first time watching. We draw every weekday at noon, Eastern Time, on the Joe Gibbs Racing Channels. While you're catching up on your tree, I'm going to read some comments because I want to see who all is out there and where you're watching from. I'm, I'm, I'm drawing here in North Carolina, but I grew up in Miami. Are you watching in Florida? Are you on the Homestead Miami page? We're having a lot of fun today. Drawing away. Let me read some of these comments out here. Oh yeah, a lot of people watching. I appreciate that. Who's out there? We got Matthew and Brett. We got Daniel. We have Carolina. I'm glad you like my hat. Thank you. Lynn's watching. Chris is watching. Very nice. Let's see who's out on the Homestead Miami page. What do you think? That was on the Joe Gibbs Racing page. Let's see who's at the Homestead Miami page watching. Oh yeah, a lot of South Florida fans out there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. It's going to be a fun day. All right. We've got our sand. Kind of looks like water, doesn't it? But that's okay. Sand's kind of rolling. All right. What do we need out here? We need, uh, we need some water in the background. So let's do this. This is the lake. It's not actually the ocean, of course, because we're at the racetrack. 
and we'll just draw some calm water out here on the beach. Oh yeah, looking good. All right, those are just waves. They kind of look like snakes or tadpoles. Don't worry, no, 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 no snakes in the water there. Those we're going to color that in with blue. Just drawing some waves in the the lake water. Beautiful beach scene, Homestead Miami Speedway. All right, next, draw a straight line about there. That's going to be our back stretch. Try not to cut through the palm tree. Who thought you were going to learn how to draw a beach and a racetrack and a race car all on the same day? Well, we're putting together because we're drawing the Homestead Miami Speedway, of course. Now you can add more palm trees if you like. Um, I'm going to leave it simple and leave it like that because you don't want too many trees because it's going to block your view of the race, right? So leave it like that, but you can draw a beach ball if you want. Draw a circle, a little shadow down there, and then just kind of split it up and we'll color it later. Very good. All right, now it's time to start drawing that racetrack. So I want you to draw another line right there. We gotta draw some walls. So we're gonna draw a bunch of straight lines. And then we need to draw a race car and we'll add some more lines later. And then we're going to add more palm trees because, uh, let me tell you, there's a lot of palm trees down the backstretch in Homestead Miami Speedway. Let me read a few more comments and see how things are going out there. Really appreciate you watching with me. If you're just joining, my name's Boris and we're drawing today, having some fun. Nice. Let's see here. Who's out there? Mike's watching, Greg's watching, all right, ready for a race car? Now we're just drawing a small race car back here because he's in the distance. Let's see, I've got Martin Truex's car here, we'll just use that for now, but we're just drawing it about that big in the distance, see that? Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is draw a little box. It's actually a rectangle, not quite a box. We're going to draw Kyle Busch's car going down the back stretch, racing to the finish line. Now we're drawing it small. That's okay. We're not going to be able to put a ton of detail into it. That's okay. People can, can add their own details in their minds there. Did you draw a little rectangle like that? Off in the distance? How's that looking? Nice. All right, next I want you to shave the nose off of that car like this. Make it rounded. See how I made that rounded? So that box isn't so boxy anymore? Very good. The good thing is, if you can't erase, that's just going to become part of the track, that box. Don't worry about it. We're going to put a wall behind Kyle Busch's car. By the way, does anybody know what color the walls are at Homestead Miami Speedway? Tell me in the comments. I want to see if anybody knows. What color are the walls at Homestead Miami Speedway? Next on our car, we need our roof. So do some angles, just like a house roof, except the house roof comes to a point, right? Well, ours isn't going to come to a point. We're going to flatten it off, but still draw some of those angles, like this. I bet there's some of you out there who are experts at this by now, because you've been drawing with me for a few weeks already. Good job. Then you just connect them at the top. Remember, a house roof would go to a point, but a car roof doesn't go to a point. That'd be a strange looking car roof, wouldn't it? All right. Got the back, we've got the front. We're drawing Kyle Busch's car screaming down the back stretch, headed to his second Cup Series championship. That was just last year. Was anybody watching out there? That was a happy day for Joe Gibbs Racing, and of course for Kyle Busch. All right, next let's add some wheels. Now you can draw an upside down U for the wheel well. That's where the wheel lives. So you draw the letter U upside down. Kind of like that. And 
and then draw the back wheel the same way, upside down U. Just like that. Next, we need to put some wheels in there. Now, I want you to try a freehand wheel, and I want you to try a little faster than you normally do it. Because this car is going to be speeding down the back stretch, so it's okay if it's not a perfect circle. What I like to do is I like to just kind of sketch a wheel in like this. Watch how I'm going to go kind of, kind of loose and fast here. It kind of looks like Sonic the Hedgehog flying down the track. It's not even really a perfectly straight wheel, but we can tell that wheel is spinning really fast, can't we? That's what I want you to work on. Add some emotion to that wheel. Look at that. It doesn't matter if it's messy. It's not messy, it's just really fast. It's zooming by. Try that. See how I did those swooshes like that? Give it a shot. All right, our car's coming together. I'm gonna zoom out so you can see the scene we're drawing. Kyle Busch flying by to, down the back stretch at Homestead Miami Speedway. Looks like he's floating in the air, but don't worry, we're gonna ground him. We're gonna put him on some, some road, some, some track here pretty soon. All right, let's give Kyle Busch's car some windows. We wanna draw a little roof inside the big roof. So the same lines we drew for the roof, draw them again, just draw them smaller and draw them inside the roof and then cut them in half with the B post. There you go. And that, my friends, is how you draw some race car windows. See that? Oh yeah, Kyle Busch's car coming together. Make sure you give it a spoiler. A little tiny spoiler out the back. Doo -doo -doo. A little tiny spoiler. All right. Next, I wanna finish the elements around the car and then we'll go back to coloring and the details like the number and whatnot. So draw a line behind the car that's going to become the wall at the speedway. Straight line, don't cut through the car, just draw behind it, kind of like that. See that? Very nice. That's the wall, and then draw one through the nose, not really through it, but right at the beginning of the nose there in the middle, that's going to be the bottom of the wall. And then this area will be the track. I'm just sketching it so you can see that this is going to be a darker area. That's the asphalt. That's what the car is racing on. That's the road. That's where that's going to go. I just want you to be able to see the difference between all these lines. There's a lot of lines, aren't there? Well, let me see how you all are doing out there. I've got I to gotta check these comments because we're having a fun time drawing today. You enjoying this drawing? You know what's great about all these drawings you're making? You can give them as gifts. You could mail them to people, maybe your grandma or your grandpa, or maybe your brother or sister's off living somewhere else, or maybe you have a friend or someone you want to send a drawing to. It's a great gift, homemade gift. Because if you've been watching us all these weeks, you have a ton of drawings. We did some show and tell at the beginning of this episode, and, and we showed off some of the drawings you've been sending in. All right, got a lot of comments out there. Let me see where people are watching from out here all over the place. We have anybody near Homestead? I bet we do have a few people from near around Homestead Miami Speedway, don't we? Yeah. Who's out there? Hannah's watching. Oh, yep, yeah, we got, uh, let's see, Caroline got the answer right. Grayson, Greystone Green, Homestead Miami Speedway is on here watching. How cool is this? If you're just joining us, I grew up in Miami, and so this is my home track, so I'm very excited. I mean, even dressed the part. I got my Guayabera on. It's a traditional Cuban shirt. Got my Miami Marlins hat, and we're drawing Homestead Miami Speedway. So we're having a good time here. It's almost time for some color. I'm telling you, it's getting close. But I want to add a few more palm trees. And here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use black, and I'm going to add them in there. Because they're kind of in the background. They're not running the show. If you do a big green palm tree on the background, it's going to take away from the car. I'll show you what I mean. We also want to draw them kind of at an angle because they're being zoomed by by the Kyle Busch car. So, just get a thick black line, as thick as you can get it, and kind of do that. Let's draw some of the lines like this. All right, look at that. They're all about the same height. Bunch of palm trees down the back stretch of Homestead Miami Speedway. One of my favorite parts. They also have a big, huge American flag flying over the back stretch. Beautiful track. I love it. All right, we've got Ally Beach here where you can watch the race. We've got the water. We're going to have some grass, the wall, the racetrack, another wall, and some palm trees, and the sky behind it. And I think we need to do a sunset, don't you?
But first, let's finish off these these trees. And these are going to be kind of like like this. Kind of like some some legs back here, some like if we're drawing an octopus or something up here up in the trees. See that? We're just having fun. Loosey goosey, just taking it easy. They're flying by fast, so they don't have to be perfect. But we've got a bunch of palm trees back here from Homestead Miami Speedway. Looking good. I cannot wait to get back to Homestead Miami Speedway and do some racing. I think hopefully once uh once things get a little better in our world with with all the health stuff, we will get back to racing pretty soon and hope to see you all out there once it's safe to do so. One of the best tracks on the circuit. Beautiful track, great racing. How are your palm trees looking? Are they coming together? Did you know that the the corners at Homestead Miami Speedway are banked at different degrees? You know, banking, if you're looking into the side of a turn, they're not flat, right? The cars are up at an angle like this. Well, the bottom lane is banked a little bit, and then the top lane is banked a little bit more at Homestead Miami Speedway, so it makes the cars go around the outside of the track really fast. One of the reasons the racing is so good there. Let me add that window net into Kyle Busch's car. Those are just some lines up like that, and some lines across. Oh yeah, looking good. We pretty much got it coming together, don't we? If you want to write Homestead on the wall, you can. The thing is, Kyle Busch's car is over it, so if you write it, you're only going to write a few of the letters. So, like, it starts with the word home, right? H-O-M-E. And then stead is S-T-E-A-D. Put them together. You could also write the word Miami because it says Homestead Miami. So maybe Homestead's over here and you can't see it, and Miami's right there. I'm actually going to do that. I'm going to pretend like the word Homestead stops right here. There's the D dash, and then I'm going to do Miami, M, I, A, M, I, and that's just the name of the track on the wall. On your palm tree, if you want to add some bark, I'll do something like this. They're kind of like a candy cane kind of swirl up the tree. Don't worry, it's not red and white palm tree, though. That'd be crazy. They might wrap that, you know, over the holidays like that, but right now we're sticking with this. Now I don't think there are any kind of animals in this water, but if you want to draw a dolphin or something, this is your drawing. You can do whatever you want. I'm not claiming that the Speedway promises you'll see a dolphin in the water because I don't think you will. This is a lake. It's not the ocean. It's in the middle of the track. But this is the beauty of drawing, right? It's your story. You can draw whatever you want in your drawing. I'm going to leave mine like this, but my point is you can make this whatever race car you want. You can put some people on the beach. You can put a chair on there, you can put an umbrella, you can do whatever you want on your beach and you're drawing, right? It's your story. So we're having a lot of fun. Hey, I, I see uh, my friend Tommy Cash is watching out there. What's up, Tommy? Tommy just retired from Joe Gibbs Racing, so we uh, we miss him, but, but he's living the good life, the retired life. James is watching out there. We got Hannah watching, Janae's watching from South Boston, Virginia. She must be an Elliott Sadler fan, don't you think? All right. Let's draw the number on the car and then I'm going to start coloring. For a number, I like to draw a box like this. And then I divide it to make a number. So we're drawing the number 18, so I'm going to put divide it in half because that's two numbers, right? A 1 and an 8. So divide a space for the 1 and then leave a space for the 8. An 8 just gets a dot at the top and a dot at the bottom. And then I round off the turns, or the corners I should say to make it look more like Kyle Busch's number eight. There you go. Very nice, very nice. All right. Well, I have never looked more forward to coloring something in my life because Homestead Miami Speedway is full of color and vibrancy. And we're gonna do that today. Now, some of you people, some of you out there got the, the wall color correct. It's kind of a, a green color and uh, Looks like Caroline, Car or Carolina, excuse me, got Gaystone Green. That's what they say is correct, the correct exact color. So I'm going to say it's something like this. Let's see if I can find it here. Let's see if I can pick the exact right color. I don't know if it'll be exact, but I'll be close as I can get. I am going to draw in this color. And let's see. I think Homestead Miami Speedway is watching, so they're going to tell me how close I get. There we go. 
How does that look? I think that is a beautiful color for a wall. Yeah, I think that's pretty close. I don't know what you all think, but I think I got pretty close there. You know, I painted the door on my house this color just to remind me of my home track, Homestead Miami Speedway. Can you believe that? How cool is that? There's that color, and it continues back over here, so I'm going to draw some swooshy lines. This wall down here is actually that color, too. This is the wall between the infield and the track, so there you go. James is out there watching. Thanks for the comment, James. Can't wait to get back to racing myself. Appreciate you all being patient and staying healthy and safe, as I know everybody at NASCAR and all our teams and drivers are... That's our number one priority, so we're getting ready to figure out how to go back to racing the right way out here. All right. Yeah, looking good. You know what? I'm going to, in our water, I'm going to add some swooshes of that wall color. The whole water is not going to be that color, but I want that color reflected in our water because that's going to make the, the drawing even more pretty. So if you're drawing with crowns or maybe, did you know that the Instagram app, if you have that app, on the story, you can draw just for free. You don't even need to download or buy an app. You can draw on your phone. So, no excuse not to draw today, right? You can find a way to do it anyway. Any way you want. Next, I'm going to do the sky because I've been excited about this sky. I want to do a sunset sky. And let me try to pick the right colors here because sunsets sometimes are not easy to draw. Let's see here. I'm going to put some pinks. Some pinks in our sunset. And I'm going to use some zoomy lines here. That's right, zoomy. Zoomy lines. Behind that Miami sunset. Some pink. See why we made the palm trees black now? They're just kind of silhouetted is the word on that sunset. Oh man, I love this one already. This might be one of my best drawings yet. I'm pretty excited about it. Might have to frame this one for myself. How's yours looking? I hope you're going to either email me at webmaster at joegibbsracing.com and send me your drawing, or maybe you can put it in the comments here or tweet it to me. I can't wait to see what you're drawing out there. Let's find some orange and yellows for our sun. Because our sun's setting over Kyle Busch's championship run here. How about that? I'm going to put some more yellows and stuff in our, our water. Again, these are reflections. Reflections on the water of the sun setting. Water doesn't always have to be blue, does it? It can be reflecting things. So that's what we're doing. I need to put some pink reflections, too. I forgot about that pink. Don't forget the pink, Boris. Pink reflections in our water. Oh, yeah. Can you tell how pretty this is going to look? Oh, yeah. Looking good. And how about some yellow, some bright yellow for our sun. Don't forget that. Beautiful, beautiful. Now Kyle Busch's car is also yellow, so it's going to look like he's the one that's causing this sunset down this back stretch. I'm telling you, it's going to look good. Maybe a little bit of reddish orange in here, just a little bit. We don't want it to go crazy, but a little bit of reddish orange. Maybe there's some clouds that the sun's reflecting on. Oh yeah, pretty. Did you expect anything less from Homestead Miami Speedway? No way. That's you're gonna expect a pretty sunset at Miami, aren't you? Let's see. Daniel's watching. Amanda's watching with Jack. Jack loves the zoomy lines. I appreciate you drawing with us, Jack. Thank you so much. You got a great drawing from Ian today that I showed. You can go back and watch those. Okay. Now that palm tree, I want to add some reflection on that too. I'm going to draw some orange on that palm tree. Even the tops of the palm tree. I like that there's a reflection on the leaves. And I'm actually going to make this palm tree a really dark color, like a green, dark green. Because again, this is not really the center of our drawing here. This palm tree is just kind of there for ornamentation, right? We don't want it to get in the way of our drawing. It's just framing our drawing. So these leaves are actually a really dark green, almost a gray. And I'll probably add some green on top of it. 
but I don't want it to steal the show. I want, I want the Kyle Busch car and the sunset and the water to steal the show here. So I'm going to start with some dark gray and then I'm going to add some green in there. See that? All right, so I got some dark gray. Now I'm going to go back in and add some more green back in here like this. I think this is the first time we've drawn uh, happy little trees on our show, hasn't it? <laughs> All right, then I'm going to add some more bright green in there. Just on the edges. Just really bringing that palm tree to life. Making it look good. Oh yeah. These races are, you know, mostly at night. The sun sets on the racetrack, so it's okay to have some dark colors in there like that. Alright. I'm going to fill some brown in on my palm tree. Brown is really, to find brown you need to find an orange, and then add some black and some gray to it. That's how we get that brown, so that's how I found that. Let me draw on that palm tree there. Our brown color coming together. Oh yeah. Boy, Ally Beach looks good. It makes me want to sit on the beach right now and watch a race from Ally Beach. I don't know about you. We're saving the best for last. We're going to color in Kyle Busch's car at last. Next, let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to get that greeny gray again. Kind of a black and fill in back here because there's not much light going on back here. This is Kind of the infield they don't really like that right because they want everybody to see the track so let's draw some zoomy swooshy lines back there zoomy lines there you go we're gonna make our racetrack the same color as this so whatever color you picked kind of a dark color is gonna work just fine back here maybe you're coloring with crowns or paints or color pencils or chalk just do your best with what your tools allow you to do this iPad's letting me do a lot of fun things. I can draw over black. You know, a lot of colors can't draw over black. So you just do do your best. Do what you can do. I'm telling you, it's going to look good. I'm going to choose a little lighter color here for the track. Their asphalt at Homestead Miami Speedway is more of a light tan. Not a light tan, but a dark tan. Right there. All right. Looking good. Homestead Miami Speedway coming together. Yeah, having fun. All right, Wayne's watching. Thank you for watching, Wayne. All right, don't forget that grass. Not the grass. I mean the uh, the water. We gotta have a dark gray blue down there. There we go. Kind of a dark gray blue and. I might have to go back over and add my highlights back in because I kind of am losing them in my water with my dark blue, but that's okay. We can fix some stuff here, can't we? Yeah, I'm going to have to go fix that. But it'll be alright. It'll look even better once I fix it. Alright. Yeah, we kind of lost our water, so let me go back in while, while you're working on that. I'm going to fix my highlights here. Patricia's watching in Ohio. Mary says hello. Mary likes the Marlins hat. Thank you, Mary. I appreciate that. Maybe Mary's watching from Florida. How many people in Florida we got out there? I'm from Florida. That's why I'm so excited to draw the Homestead Miami Speedway today. All right, let me add some highlights back in there because I missed those highlights on the water. That was my favorite part, so i got to add those back in there. Give me a second here. Let's add some highlights back in. We had some pink highlights. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. These are the colors reflecting on the water, so don't forget our wall color. Our sea foam green highlighting on the water, making those waves pop out. Now don't worry, the Ally Beach Homestead Miami is not going to have too many waves. You know, I mean, it's it's a lake actually, but the beach is a beautiful thing. Add some yellow for our sunset high, highlights and reflections there on the water. Pretty water. Oh yeah, looking good. Next, our sand color. You know, sand. It's like a tan, right? little mix between brown and yellow and orange and get a little tan in there. Tan sand. How about this? Let's try this sand. How does this look? Oh yeah. Now that is a sand color if I've ever seen one. I'm just drawing swooshy sand. Not even filling it all in. Again, we don't want the sand to overpower everything else. We're just drawing the sand in there. 
Looking so good. Oh, yeah. Doesn't this just make you feel relaxed? I almost feel like I'm on the beach right now. Let me add in some more green on this palm tree. I'm going to go with more limey green over here. Really make it pop. Really make that palm tree pop off the screen. Look at that lime green in there. Oof. That's one of my favorite colors. What about you? I love lime green. And it really feels like Miami, doesn't it? That really made that palm tree just explode with color. Look at that. I might even I might even add a couple of that a little bit of that color in our palm trees in the sunset. Make them glow in the in the sunset. What do you think? Maybe even in the sunset itself. Why not? I'm going a little crazy now. But like I said, this is your drawing. You make it whatever you want it to be. I'm going to add some more green because I love that green. It's going to make the speed feel even more palatable. Does that make sense? I don't even know if that's the right use of that word, but I'm using it. And that green just about everywhere because that's one of my favorite colors is that Homestead Miami green. All right. Well, one thing left to color, isn't there? Kyle Busch's race car. All right, Devin's asking to draw some more throwback cars. We'll work on that, Devin, next week. What do you say? Devin's watched almost every episode out there this whole time we've been doing this, so I'm really thankful for you all and people like Devin out there watching me. I appreciate it. I hope you're learning something and enjoying it. Thanks for the suggestions. Okay, let's color Kyle Busch's car. The number stays, what? White, right? But we're going to have to draw an M&M &M behind it. Let's grab our blue. Talk about a colorful scene. Miami, Homestead Miami are colorful. And then the most colorful car on the track, of course, Kyle Busch's car. So we couldn't have picked better subject matter for what we're doing. I'm just going to draw a blue circle around the number. That's one of those M&M's candies just hanging out back there. Make it a little lighter than that, I think. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know? We're just, he's zooming by in the background. We're just going to make it a little rough. I might even add some zoom swooshes in there. How about an orange one? Let's put orange up here. And of course there's a red one back here. That's actually the character, but we're just going to draw a circle right now. Very nice. And then how about a green one? Just hiding right there. And I'm going to put a green one up here too. Why not? And then the main color on Kyle Busch's car, of course, is yellow. It's about like that. It's not quite yellow. It's not quite orange, but it's right there in the middle. We're going to draw that zooming by. Oh, yeah. The candy car. Here we go. I'm putting some zoomy lines in my race car. We're not, I'm not even worried about staying in the lines because this car is going so fast, nothing could stop Kyle Busch's car from winning this championship last year. So we're not even going to worry about staying in the lines because I want it to look so fast. Look at that. I'm even going outside the lines, onto the track, onto the wall. You can do whatever you want to make that race car look fast. Have some freedom there. Look at that. I'm going to make the number even pop out of the lines a little bit, add some swooshes on there to make it look like it's going really fast. Look at that. I'm going to color in those wheels in a black color there a little bit, add some more swooshes in there. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put some pink reflections on the wheel. Hey, I'm telling you what, we're going a little crazy here. Don't worry about it. Just have some fun. It's Friday, right? We're having some fun. I'm going to add some yellow in those tires to show the Goodyear lettering on those tires. Right. I'm going to fill in the, the window area here with kind of a blue. We don't have much blue in here, so we want to add some more blue to give it a little pop. Even over the window net. Yeah. Looking good. How's yours looking? I bet it's looking so good. I'm going to even add some blue in the track here. Maybe blue down here, blue in the water. Woo! Coming together. Well, there's one thing we didn't we didn't finish, and that is the beach ball. Now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to use 
some of the M&M's colors on that beach ball that we just used. So I think there should be a yellow in there. How about a red? How about a green? How about a blue? What else do we want in there? Hmm, how about a purple? And then how about a an orange? Now we've got our beach ball. And actually beach balls have some white in them too, so I'm going to add some white back in there for the beach ball. Oh yeah. Wow, that came together pretty nicely, didn't it? Are you liking yours? Jonathan asked what iPad I'm using. I'm using an iPad Pro and I'm using the Procreate app. But there are so many good apps out there and you don't have to have an iPad. You can pretty much draw with whatever you want. Look at there. Well, I think that pretty much concludes our Homestead Miami Speedway drawing. It's been really fun drawing with you today. I'm going to sign my name on this. I hope you're going to sign your name on yours when you're done with it. No rush. I'm going to put the date. Let's try this down here. Twenty twenty. There you go. Sign my name. Did you sign your name? I'm just enjoying this artwork right now. I think there's a couple more things I want to do to it. That's part of the challenges of being an artist, isn't it? Is figuring out when to stop drawing when you're done. I want some more swooshes in my wall here. Just to add a little more flavor to it. A little more action here. Yeah, looking good, looking good. All right. Well, please do have a great weekend. And make sure you send me your drawings. You can post them here in the comments or tweet them to me or email them at webmaster at joegibbsracing.com, whatever you think. I'm just going to add some more water in here. Maybe add some swooshes on the sand a little bit. Yeah. Well, that's one of my favorite drawings I've done. I don't know about you, but that was a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Drawing my home track that I've been to many races at. And I can't wait to get back there soon once things are safe and healthy to do so. So, thank you for watching. That's going to be it for me for this week for Let's Draw Race Cars. You can, call, you can catch all of our episodes on YouTube. Just search for Boris Draws Race Cars. You should be able to find them. Joe Gibbs Racing. And I want to thank you once again for watching. And thanks again to Homestead Miami Speedway for letting us draw this beautiful scene of Ally Beach and the, the track in the background with Kyle Busch racing to the checkered flag in his championship. All right, have a good weekend, stay safe, and be well.